Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. The images are very important for the user experience and we have faced multiple times hurdles in optimizing a page that uses many images. In this video, we will see how to optimize a page that uses a lot of them. So, let's get started! The page that we will try to improve in terms of performance, it looks like this and we have a list of cuts where we have some lorem ipsum content here and if I start scrolling down we will see that we have a lot of images and you can also tell that we have a lot of cuts here based on the scroll bar so let me scroll down and as you can see we have a lot of cuts yeah there are many so let's scroll up now and the goal of this video, like I said in the beginning, is to optimize this page. At first we have to observe if we have a problem. So let's do the following. Into the network, I will click the image tab and I will simply refresh the page. As soon as I'm refreshing the page, what we can see here is that we have all the images downloaded. And like I said previously, we have a lot of images here. And now we can see that we have this kind of megabytes. Let me ask the following. Is it correct to load all of these images here? So the answer is no. And the reason is that the user is interested in seeing this image, which is the large contentful paint image. And also in terms of usability, it would be nice to load the images that are close to the viewport. And the images that are close to the viewport is this one, this cute cut here, and this one as well. And why do we have to load all of these images? So let's try to improve. Before we do so, we have to measure the page. So I will go back to the VS Code to see what we have. In the VS Code, in the app component TS, I have here in the engine unit, these cuts equals cuts, and this is my list of cuts. And into the app component HTML, we see that we have an app cut item, and I will show you shortly what this component is all about. And I'm providing here the cut item, which is the first item. And then I have the same component, the app cut item, where I'm iterating over the cuts array and I'm providing all the cuts except the first one. Now, let's go to the cut item component. And this is no more like actually the image, and then we have the lorem ipsum code here. And here we have the source cut image URL the cut item width and the cut item height, no more than this. To measure it, I will do the following. So let me kill this. I will build the application using the production configuration. And I also have the watch option here so that the file watcher can rebuild the application whenever I have any changes. And also I will use an HTTP server and NPM package. And I will use a broadly compression and this is what I want to serve. So let's do this. Now, while I'm being here, I will use Lighthouse and let's measure it. So I will click Analyze Page Load and let's wait for the results. So this is the performance indicator, 83. And if I scroll down, we can see that the first content will pay in the speed index, the time to interactive, the total blocking time, and the CLS is all right. That we have green measures here, but we have a problem with the larger contentful paint in the LCP. We have to improve this. And the LCP is this one. How can we do this? In Angular 14, we have a directive called ng optimized image, and I will use this here ng optimized image and all that I have to do now is replace this source with ngsrc. No more than this. The file watcher run and now let's go again into the page and let's compare this 83 with a new measure. And again, I will analyze the page load again. And wow, this is 100 with only minor changes, ng-optimized image here and then the ng-src. And if we go and scroll down, we can see that we have 
and then we will compare it to the previous one, we will see that we had a very big difference. But what just happened? So let's observe this. I will inspect this image and what we can see is that we have the image, we have the width, we have the height, and then we have the loading lazy and the fetch priority auto. And the same happened for all the other images. Here we can see that we have loading lazy and fetch priority auto. These are some very useful attributes on the images and the result is the following. If I go now to the network, all we can see under the images tab is that we have only three images go downloaded. And while I'm scrolling down, we expect more images to download. So this is a very quick adjustment of how to use best practices on your images. And not only this, if you observe here into the app component TS, all the images that we have are under the same URL. So we have HTTPS DN2, the cartapi.com slash images. So what I can do is the following. I will grab this URL and under my this component in the app cut item, I will use a provider and the provider, let's have here a comma, will be the image loader, but I have first to provide the image loader and I'm going to use a value for this and when the value will be this value, I mean, will be invoked this function, we have a configuration. And the configuration will be the image loader config. And then what we can do is simply, I'm going to return this URL, and then I'm going to provide my config.src. Please note that you can also have here your width. But for this example, we will use only the SRC. And now I will go to the app component TS and I will remove all of these URLs. I removed everything. And now we expect to go back to the browser and everything to work just fine. And let's reload. And as you can see, I will inspect this and we can see that here we have the correct image. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.